so we're going back to our old school method of live streams. For some reason, they're allowing me to do it on mobile now, so that's a good thing. Every week they throw me a new loop, so thank you guys so much. If you tried to hop on a couple of minutes ago, I start and stop the live stream uh, three, four times maybe. And uh, so now I'm going to pull up the video so I can watch the chat and all that kind of thing. And if you're new to my channel, it's Heather Boyd Wire, of, and this is Wire Lady TV. We usually do the episodes on Wednesday nights, but my daughter and I were in New York City on Wednesday, so I couldn't do the live stream. So let me just see if we can see this on... Yay, Kathy! You can hear and see me. And Amy, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. I did see some of your comments in the previous um, live, but it didn't, for some reason, it didn't... Uh, I got a, a warning notice from YouTube that the resolution wasn't good enough. So that's good. And Joey, Joey, haven't seen you in so long. How's the crochet going? It's awesome to hear from you. And I'm just going to pull you guys up on my computer. For some reason, it's jamming. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'll just... Oh, I'm missing your comments. So Brenda says, hi. Mary says, hi. And Winifred says, hello. Wow, I think Saturday night is a good time for a live stream. What do you guys think? That's awesome. And I will... And Inga Lily says, hi. Wow. And, and Didi, whoa, so many people online. So let me know where you are uh, located and what time is it there? It's 7 o'clock Eastern time in Montreal. And uh, like I said, I was trying to do my live stream on the on the laptop, didn't work out. So this is the old school way I used to do the live streams on my iPod. And uh, I'm really super into social media. I do a lot of things online, but technology sometimes gets a little uh, beyond me. So Joey says it's 7.15 in upstate New York. I was in New York City last week uh, with uh, Mimi. We had a great time. 4.15, Peggy says, 7.15, Ohio. Wow, people are all over the world and happy to be here. Oh, Baltimore, that's awesome. And you know what's interesting? Uh, when I was in New York City, um, in 7.15 in Indianapolis, when I was in New York City, we went to see my friend Martha Cooper, who is from Baltimore, and she's actually a photographer who documented uh, graffiti photography in the 70s. And she wrote a book called Subway uh, Art. I don't know if you've ever anybody has ever heard of her, but Martha's a friend of ours, and I always make her her camera earrings. And recently at the um, Chelsea or the Tri uh, Tribeca, it's called Tribeca Film Festival in New York City, they made a documentary about her. Oh, 115 at night. Oh my goodness. So you're overseas and uh, Evo Evoine in Alabama. Yes. Oh, Sweet Home Alabama. That's one of our favorite songs. Absolutely. So guys, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pull you up on the computer. So the problem, what we're going to do here is maybe I'll just refresh my page. Uh, what I wanted to do today is to troubleshoot some ideas for spirals because I've had a lot of requests in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. Oh, Ontario, Canada. That's where I'm from, Ontario, Canada. I'm from Ottawa, Ontario. And actually, we're going to Ottawa next uh, weekend uh, for my daughter. Mimi has a... Um, a gig at the Chapters Rideau doing photography for a Mother's Day event, so that's cool. Okay, guys, so now I could see your, I can see your comments on the computer. I'm gonna flip my screen as usual, and we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot some ideas for the spirals. So let's just do that. I'm gonna flip my screen, flip it around. There we go. So there's my messy table. There's my living room. I used to do it in the basement. And now I, I'm trying to do it upstairs because the Wi-Fi is much better here. So, oh, you're in Hamilton. Okay, we actually used to go to Hamilton a lot. And we used to do a folk festival there called the, um, I think it was called the Festival of Friends. And so now what I'm going to do is actually move my computer. I had to have my computer nearby before because I was live streaming on both devices. So now just bear with me while I adjust everything. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let me just get this up a little bit because I don't want it jiggling around too much. Okay, so that should be good. Now, please ignore these lines on the table. I drew those there because for the other way to do the live stream, it was um, I needed to mark out my table. So actually, let me move this over a little bit. I think it's going to be better if we do this. We'll just bring it over. Just bear with me for 
two minutes. Just have to, you know, kind of troubleshoot a little bit here because the technology did not work as planned. So if we keep this here, that should be good. Okay, so there we go. So that's right, Festival of Friends is okay, yes. Is it still, it's still going on? Wow, that was a long time ago that we did that. That was about 25 years ago. We haven't done that in a long time. So guys, let me just get started by showing you a few uh, things for the spirals that you're going to need to know. One thing is uh, the spirals are very different to do depending on what kind of wire you have. That makes a huge difference in how easy it is to make the spirals. So here, I'm gonna show you a few examples of different wires. Here's one, I'm gonna go all with the 20 gauge for now, just to show you the difference. So this one is just a generic wire from Michaels. And then I'm gonna to try to also watch your comments as much as I can, but please excuse me if I can't get to all your comments. And uh, as always, feel free to chat amongst yourself because that's always fun when you guys get discussions going and get to know each other. So this is actually aluminum wire and you're gonna see how that reacts differently when you bend it. And then this one, one of my favorite wires is the artistic copper wire. So by far the artistic copper wire for me is easiest to work with when you're doing kind of like smooth designs. And so uh, things you can use to make the spirals is a ring cone. So this is just like a basic wooden ring cone. Uh, you can just find anything that's cone shaped. Like I found this little uh, kind of lid for a glue or something that's cone shape. And then the other thing I wanted to try, because I know you guys uh, always like it when I troubleshoot ideas, I had this idea and I actually tried to make cones out of uh, hot glue before and it was a total fail. It did not work whatsoever, but I had this idea and I'm going to see if it's going to work, was just to take maybe the pointy ends off a couple of pens and and for sure you can just like I'll show you two ways to do this but what I want to do is I have I had to find two pens that were the same size and then I wanted to get just like a little piece of play-doh or something and I don't want to get my hands too yucky but the idea was just to get a bit of play-doh to use as a base or you can use Fimo so what I'm going to do is I'll just I'm going to flatten that one out just a little bit just to have like sort of a base. And this is gonna be our like experiment one to see how it works. But I, sometimes I feel like I'm uh, working in the daycare again. When I used to work in daycare with little kids, it was always, it's so much fun like experimenting and exploring with the kids. So now what I'm gonna do is just show you the basic way to do a spiral. These little pieces I'm gonna put at the side because they're about the right uh, length for my second step that I wanna do. And then just, I'm gonna cut a single piece and just show you, if you're using a cone, how you can make a spiral. So the idea is just to hold it with the, your thumb and then take this wire and just bend it around a few times. And then you want to bend it kind of towards the top. Okay, like that, and I'm gonna just go all the way to the top. This isn't the best spiral uh, like cone in the world, but it's not too bad. So you can see how I've made kind of a spring type thing. And then what you're going to do is just clip one end and then get your smaller pliers. Now somebody in the, in the group was asking me about my round pliers. So here's two sets of round pliers. These ones are kind of just typical uh, pointy round nose pliers. And these ones are a little bit larger. So dimensions wise, I would say maybe that's, mm, four, a uh, three to four millimeter tip. And then down at the bottom, it's more like almost, I wouldn't say it's a centimeter, but maybe it's eight millimeters or something. So it's a nice range of, um, of size. And then this one is much smaller. Both of these I bought about 30 years ago. So you can't really buy the same ones on the market, but you can buy several, you know, similar ones. And I know there's something called um, like kind of a mandrel uh, pliers, but I've never really used them. So I tend to use like pretty old school 
tools, you know, I have nothing like super fancy. So, so the idea is you take this round end and close it and kind of push it down. So this is closed, the end of the spiral there. And then with your flat pliers, that's where you start to bend it in. Okay, you kind of bend it down like that. And you can also use your thumb and your finger. And the nice thing about this wire, the artistic copper wire, it's very soft and very forgiving. So you'll see right away you have a nice little spiral there. Now this is really useful when you use aluminum wire because the aluminum wire, the trouble with the aluminum wire, and I'm going to show you, is I know some people like to make uh, spirals by starting at the end and working their way around, which works okay with the artistic copper wire because it's quite soft and flexible. But with the aluminum wire, the trouble with that, I mean, aluminum wire is super soft. It's, it's nice in that way. But the trouble with the aluminum wire, and I'm going to show you, it tends to make these funny little kinks because it's really like it's not super smooth. So it's very hard to get a decent spiral. You'll see that it's kind of does the kink, the kinky thing. And I'll show you the advantage of aluminum wire is the advantage of aluminum wire is you can get very nice right angles. So that's why I love aluminum wire because you can get these right angles, but to get a smooth um, spiral, it's very difficult. So that's a great way to make a spiral. Well, the, the cone is the way I've always made the spiral. So if, like I said, the other technique that somebody had mentioned where you start with the end and pull it in, um, I actually never do it that way because I never even thought to do it that way. It just didn't make any sense to me. So what I'm going to do now is just, I'm just going to grab a scrap paper here because I don't want to muck up the table. So here we go. So we'll just get a blank paper. And then what I'm going to do is take this Play-Doh and let's have some fun. Let's see what we could do here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I hate that flat spot. A great tip. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's very tricky uh, doing the spirals. Absolutely. Like it's really, um, and I don't even know, you know, when I learned or how I learned how to do it. But I think I just instinctively did it. So this, I'm not even sure this is going to work because I don't even know if I can get this tip off of here. But let's just, I had this vision to do this. Uh, I think it's going to break. So let's just see. I, yeah, it might not be able to come off at all. See, you guys are lucky. I'm doing all this hard work for you. <laughs> I'm just drawing my pen. So you guys don't have to destroy your pens. But this might, oh, you know what? Look, it comes off. It got, it did get a little bit mangled, but I bet there are some pens where you can actually take the end off a little more easily. So let's just try this one. And I don't know where I got these pens. I probably got these pens in a hotel or something. So no biggie if I, if I break it. Okay, so now we've got these two pen tips, but we're gonna have to fix them up a little bit to see uh, just to straighten them out a little bit because right now now they're not they're not really round anymore So let's just see if we can fix them up. I'm gonna make sure my hands are staying on the screen Okay, so here's one and let's get the other one and even even if they're not perfect This is just to give you an idea what I actually was thinking to do which would be great But the stores were closed before I had a chance to go was um, to get, you know, those icing uh, bags that have little tips on the end that you could put on the icing bags. I thought it would be perfect to get the, so, a couple of those little little kind of cones that go on the end of the icing bag and uh, use those to make the spirals. So maybe what I'll do is if this actually works and you guys are on the ground floor of this design, if it works, I will actually go and buy a couple of those cones and make a, a nice like finished video about it. This is something else you could do is, is take this end of the pen. So let's see if this is gonna work. This is from the dollar store. So also no biggie if it doesn't work. We'll see this one comes off a lot easier. So let's try to get that one off. So this one gets comes off a lot easier. And this comes out it's probably gonna get ink all over the place oops okay I'm gonna put this at the side because we don't want to make a mess and 
I don't know if I could take this bit out or not. Actually, I should probably leave that bit on there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that bit on there. Let's do another one. I hope I don't get ink all over the floor. So we're going to take that out. And then that. Oh, see, that now this one, this came right out. So should we do another one? Let's just do the two. So one of them, the nib came right out. So let's see if we should take that out. Uh, let's see if that's going to work. No. Actually, it's fine. We'll just leave it there. So we have two possibilities for cones here. So let's try them both and see. Okay. And what I should do is actually put this a little higher because my hands are kind of low here. But I'm going to try to hold it up for you guys. So the idea for this was to take a piece of the Play-Doh, push it down a bit, and... I don't know if it's going to work, but my idea was to stick a cone like there and then a cone in here because I wanted to make the double spiral. But the thing with this is I think it's maybe not going to, it's not going to be stable enough. It would probably work if I um, baked, if I had Fimo and I baked it, but this might not work like that. So let's try it this way. We're going to flip it over. And let's try it this way. We're going to stick these two in here. So this has a bit more of a base. Okay, let's, this is going to be a little more stable. So we're going to take the tip end of the pen and stick it right down there. Okay. Oh my God, look at guys. I'm getting ink all over my fingers. So this was not the most brilliant idea. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. Actually, it's already in there. Let's just do it. I probably have to go wash my hands at some point. Oh wait, this is low battery. I'm just going to make sure this is plugged in. I'm not sure why my battery is low, so just bear with me for a second. And I'm gonna check the battery. Is this one plugged in? No, I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Okay, hopefully my battery is okay. And actually, you know what I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna do is plug it into the computer. Oh, you know what? Here, just bear with me one minute. I'm gonna plug this in again. Okay, I think we're good guys, sorry about that. So now let's try, let's see if this is gonna work with the spiral. Like I said, it might not be super stable because the um, this isn't Fimo, but I think what I'm gonna do is for my finished video, I'm actually going to uh, bake this in the oven so it stays good. But my idea here, okay, so bear with me, it was to make two cones like that beside each other, and then you take the wire, and you kind of crisscross it in there and then do this on one side. Okay, so we're gonna do make the cone. We're gonna go one, kind of two. Now if this was if this was like baked in place, it would totally work, but you could also do this with a jig. I don't know if any of you guys have a wig jig. Uh, but the or what they used to be called wig jigs. I don't know what they're called anymore, but they this might do the same thing So the idea is you're gonna go around like this. Okay, so you have I don't know if you guys can see but we've gone around each side like that and Then you would just take it apart my hands are filthy now and then this is sort of the basics of your spiral and then what you want to be sure to do is cut these wires in the same place. So you have the same amount of wire on both sides. So we're going to cut it sort of towards the center. And the same thing here, sort of towards the center. Okay, so there we go. See, we have the, the beginning. So it's like this first spiral I did, but it's a double spiral. And now we're going to take the little pliers again, just like we did before. 
and we're going to twist it in. Now the other thing I'm going to show you guys after this is how to do a like a little clasp because I also had a request in the Wire Art and Jewelry Club uh, to do to show how to do a little clasp. So I'm going to do that as well. So this is the same how I did the first one. And to bend the wire, you just hold it with the pliers and do like a little flick of the wrist. That's the best thing. And then because this wire is quite forgiving, you can open it up a little bit with your hand, okay? Now, trouble is I have got Play-Doh all over this. So definitely if I was gonna do this again, I would make it with Fimo and I would bake it. So this is the idea. It's got a little bit tight there. Uh, it's got a little bit distorted, but then you could just push it in with the pliers. And I actually did another video on how to make this kind of spiral. So I can link that up below. So there, there you go. Okay get the play-doh out of there so that's the idea of how you would do like a little double spiral there so that's that and uh, yeah so so definitely my advice when you do spirals is to use the cone I think it's the easiest thing to do I could show you on a larger cone so here's the larger one and then we'll do it with the gold wire so same idea you just start at the bottom hold it with your thumb bring it up like however many you want it to be okay like that so say we did about four of them and then cut it at the top okay cut it at the top and then just hold it hold the top of the wire with your pliers and just flick of the wrist bring it in and then bring it push it down you know as much as you can with the pliers themselves and then sometimes it's easier just to do the rest uh, with your uh, with your uh, thumb and your finger. Otherwise, you can kind of wiggle it around here. Now, this wire is a little bit cheaper. This is the wire from uh, Michaels. It's not as good as the artistic copper wire. I find it a little bit too soft, but there you go. So that's this spiral is a little tighter because I had like a less a gradation when I wound it around the the um, the cone, but you definitely get the idea. So hopefully, hopefully that helps with making the the spirals. And if you guys have any questions about spirals, just let me know. And then what I'm going to do now is show you how to make that uh, clasp uh, thing that there was. Um, I forget who it was, somebody asked in the Facebook group about the about the clasp. So I'll actually show you how to do both the clasp and the hook. I think it's going to be good to make both, to make like a little, a little set. So to make a hook, I think there's many, many different ways to do it, but I'll show you how I do it, uh, if I can remember. It's been a long time, because I used to do a lot of my own clasps and thing before I had any kind of budget to buy materials. Like when I first started selling jewelry on the streets of Montreal, all I had was like very basic pliers, no findings, no nothing. So I used to just make a clasp like this, and it's still, you know, very relevant. I do it sometimes, actually when I need to do something in sterling silver, often I'll do this. So you just leave a few inches at one end and then you bend this, okay, you bend it, the wire in half, and then I like to just give this a little bit of a pinch so it's closed. And then what I do is I bend, this is gonna be the hook, so you take this with your pliers and bend it just to give it a little bit of a dip there. And then we get our larger round pliers and we're gonna hold this end here and then just bend your wrist like down like that. So see how it makes already a nice little hook. And then I'm going to hold with the flat pliers just below where I did the hook and then take this one wire and give it a turn all the way around. Okay, one full turn and then cut that and then what I want to do is I'm going to actually hold this and bend it a little bit to the left or right I guess depending if you're left or right handed and then you want to make a big loop so you're going to hold this and often I find it easier to hold the wire with the pliers and then do the turning with your with you like pull the wire around with the other hand so 
If we did like a full turn like that, you see how it's looking, the hook, and then I'll get the flat pliers. And sometimes I like to actually bend this over the end to make it live a little even more solid. So we're gonna bend it right over and then to the back, okay? And we're going to clip that end and jamming with yeah, yeah, yarn says hello and Tammy says hello. I do mine the same way, cool. So you, you do your spirals the same way or your hooks the same way? Just let me know in the chat because I don't know how much is a delay, there is of a delay on this live stream here. So see guys, this is how easy it is to make a little hook and it's really fancy. And if you need a hook to match the certain wire that you're using, it's really great. The hooks, awesome, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's a nice basic uh, hook design. So to do the little uh, loop that the hook is gonna go into, uh, we'll start by doing, bend this on a little bit of a angle, and then you wanna make a good size round uh, loop that this is going to hook into. So I just do a good little loop like that. I'm using my large round pliers and then we're just gonna hold that around and just bend it around a couple of times, okay? And clip the end. Yeah, this is a nice basic, basic design. And then on this side, we're going to bend it like that. And this, this loop can be bigger or smaller. It's totally up to you how you guys wanna do it. I'm actually gonna pinch this end a little bit in, and then we're gonna bend this around and what I like to do is I want to kind of, if this one's over top, I'm going to bend this in the, so they're kind of like going opposite directions. So I'm going to do my little loop there and then hold this. Uh, it says, but it, it looks a lot more sturdy. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do this and hold this there. And then I just always like to go over these these little ends, again, you don't have to, as long as you put them like like kind of flush together, it's okay, but I like to make it super solid and just go over it again like that. So it makes it a little bit more chunky there. And that's a total like personal preference. If you want it to be chunky, if you want like kind of a double springy thing going on, or if you want it more delicate, that's totally up to you. Now I know what I can do with my leftover wire. Absolutely, yes. Definitely do this with your leftover wires. It's a great idea. So now you see you have these two pieces and then you would just kind of hook them in like that. And then you could even pinch this in a little more if you want, and then it's more solid there. So that's pretty cool. So we have the, the, um, the hook and the loop, and then we did the single spiral, and we did this single, or a double spiral, and then I showed you guys how it's uh, really not as easy to make spirals with aluminum, but you definitely, you know, definitely can do it, like if you do it the traditional way uh, with the, well, my traditional way with the, with the cone, it's much easier. So that's great. And if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. And uh, I don't know if there was anything else that you wanted me to show you. I'm just trying to see what else I have. Well, oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I went, because when I went to New York, I had an idea of I wanted to make some little dress beads. And um, so I've been experimenting with that. So, and I actually made them out of paper. And I think it would work with some um, really thin fabric. I tried it with thicker fabric today, but it didn't work so well. So uh, do you press your ends in to make them flush? Is there anything specific you do to the, wait, okay. Well, to push, to, to make them flush, all I do is I use my flat pliers just to push them in so they're not like scratchy type of thing. And you can like, you know, do them so they're just like right together. But like I said, if you do want them to make them this, clasp extra strong, I go over it onto itself like this one too. But you can just like put them flush together and 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 just squish it a bit with the flat pliers is okay. So yeah, these are these are little samples I did. So this one was actually with a napkin. I was playing around with a napkin and the idea was to do like kind of like a bead 
a, it looks like a dress, but it's actually a bead. So I was playing around with that idea. And then this one, I made just this little girl with the little the little dress. So that's fun. So that's still a work in progress, progress that I'm doing. And so uh, this week I have a couple of projects on the go. I'm going to do another live stream on Wednesday. So if you guys ever have more... Um, more questions. They're cute, eh? Yeah, these are really cute. So this is sort of uh, like something, whenever I travel, I always bring my stuff with me and, and I always make things along the way. So that's, that's super fun. So I'm going to flip the screen around, guys. Let me just get this going. There we go. Good. So there we are. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for bearing with me with the technology. It didn't, uh, didn't uh, pan out so well with the laptop this week, but that's okay. And I hope that was a clear uh, description of how to do the spirals. If you have any more questions about the spirals, uh, please let me know. And then I can also do another like super quick little, uh, a little like kind of tutorial, just a mini version of what I did uh, today, but in a clearer version, maybe I'll do that. And just to have a, a video that's specifically how to make the spiral. And uh, yeah, so we'll definitely see you guys uh, Wednesday. I'm going to be back on the live stream. Oh, actually, you know what I want to do Wednesday is I want to tr do some troubleshooting for the goddess uh, um, pendant. And uh, I think it was Yvonne who did one for the goddess pendant in the Facebook group. It was super cute. And I saw some other designs that would be fun to work out. So let's do that Wednesday. We're going to do the goddess pendants. Uh, sort of, they kind of look like tree goddesses. They're really, really super sweet. So, uh, so I'll, I'll definitely do, do something like that. Do you have a tutorial on the mermaid you did like that? I do have, um, I have a tutorial for mermaid earrings, but, uh, that would be cool to do like kind of a similar goddess mermaid type thing as well. So, uh, but I could link up the mermaid, uh, the mermaid uh, tutorial as well. That was, a, that was another live stream I did a little bit, uh, a little while ago. And uh, yes, so out, out of wire, definitely everything out of wire. And because uh, I've done a lot of trees pendants with the with the wire, with the little stones and everything. But uh, yeah, I'd never heard of this god. It was like a goddess. I forget, was it called a goddess tree pendant? There's a name for it. Um, my mind's blanking right now, but we'll definitely do that. I did a horse head out of wire. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah, I've done a very simple horse heads. And then I did a uh, unicorn, a unicorn head. And actually a friend of mine, uh, Serena, she did a special request for some unicorn uh, bookmarks. And so I did the horn out of beads. And then the mane is done out of uh, rainbow colored embroidery floss. So that was super cool as well. That was awesome. So yeah, so guys, I'm going to let you go and uh, we'll definitely see you next week. So if it works well with this mobile uh, device, I will do it on the mobile de device next week and we'll definitely uh, see you soon. And be sure to, if you're not already a member of the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, to join the, the group. And then if you have ever any questions, then I could do kind of troubleshooting tutorials like today and... And that's awesome. So have a great uh, Sunday. 